Hey guys, this is Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do something pretty fun, and we'll be swatching almost all of the art materials that I've had since elementary to high school to college to my second degree to now that I'm working, and this is everything that I've kept, everything that I've collected up until now, and yeah, this is gonna be pretty fun. So we're starting off with the Sakura Koi watercolor, and I'm pretty sure if you've watched a lot of art videos here on YouTube, you would have seen it here and there. It's pretty hyped up since they say it's a very good watercolor. And based on the swatches and how the color and water moves on different paper, it seems like it's really living up the hype that surrounds it. So this is the 30 color set, and it's like a travel kit of sorts, and I've been going here and there lately, so... I decided I might need one instead of hauling around my tube paints, so yeah. So this is the Derwent Inktense Pencils of the 24 set. These are, you could say, watercolor pencils, but their output or the pigments are ink and not reworkable watercolor. And I've had this since I was in high school. It was a Christmas gift, I remember. Because I remember opening it up, I didn't know what it was besides what the name could tell me. And I remember being super intimidated by this because it was super pigmented, it wasn't reworkable, and it seemed very expensive. So I've been using it a bit more lately since I've matured both as a person and as an artist. And I've been trying to push myself to get over the intimidation of my older art materials. So this video took me like 3 plus days to finish because I've, I had a lot of... Um, colors to go through and even though this sped up, it's still out of colors, it's just pretty tedious to do but it was also relaxing for one. It, is, it got me into this weird chance of just like getting all the colors, laying it out and like it's so pretty to look at and it makes me feel happy to know that at one point in time I've used these materials at one point. It may not have been good but I could improve on, that, improve on that now, especially since I have a channel, I've been a bit more driven to try newer and harder things because, I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my water brush for this since it's lucky to bring out my actual brushes. And of course, since this is a swatching video, I'll be writing down the names of the colors and the color codes if it's applicable or if I remember to actually give it some space to write stuff on. Okay, so the next art material is the Faber Castle Pit Artist Pens. These are, at least in this set, these are brush pens. This is the 36 set, I believe, or 48. I'm not even sure anymore. And these are Inja ink pens. They're not like Copics or uh, Winsor Newton that those are alcohol based. These are inked pretty much. So like the Derwent ink pens, they're pretty much set once they dry. And you can somehow blend with it when it's still somewhat wet and if you use the right colors, but you're, it's not like watercolor or the, like the alcohol markers where you can just like use a little bit of the whatever dissolving agent and it will be back to normal. But these are very very pretty. I got these as my graduation gift and uh, because in the past my parents bought me 
like two packs of like six I think and those were like the selected colors only so it's like the shoujo and shonen manga sets I believe and really like them they are super pretty and I wanted to get back into them and I wanted more colors so this is what I asked for as my graduation gift like yeah most people would go to a different country or get a car I asked for art materials <laughs> I've actually done a couple of videos using these markers and especially during Inktober, I tend to use them a lot since, hey, it's coming up soon, I think. So these are the colors that they got in the separate sets and I was just trying to match to see which, which ones I have duplicates of and it turns out I only have two colors that I don't have a duplicate of. So since I forgot to leave space and the names tend to be pretty long and this was a lot of colors, I opted to use the codes instead, the, the number code. And I'll just look it up based on... Or I may write it down at the back someday when I'm no longer sick of this project. Okay, so now this is something that if you've been watching my channel, you would have been pretty familiar with. These are my Reeves watercolor of the 24 set. I believe they're student grade watercolor since even against the Sakura Koi watercolors, they're kind of pale and less vibrant and pigmented in color. But this is what I've been using since I learned how to use watercolors in college. Well, no, I started out with these really cheap. I think 10 set of the best buy watercolor and those were like really crappy like, I had a hard time using them like they were chalky and all that and then the next set that I use is this already it's the Reeves watercolor they're a good starting set um, they've gotten me places I guess or they've gotten me really good works but against the Sakura Koi the difference is real so now we're using or we're swatching the Paper Castle Polychroma set and I got I got these recently and well I think I mentioned that I graduate like the Faber Castle Pit Artist Pens for my graduation gift, but that was for my first graduation. I graduated twice since I had two degrees as like, you know, it's for my future so stuff like a gift of sorts to my parents, but hey, I'll talk about that some other time. So this is this was my gift for my second graduation. It's like a bit more expensive. It's a little bit more high art, but like, my God, they're so pretty. Like, I, ah, it makes me so happy just owning them. And I've been trying to push myself to just use the materials and not just stare at them and caress them the entire day. And since I've been getting better at my art, I think I feel a lot less guilty using them. Like, I feel like I really. I don't deserve them, but at least I'm worthy to use them now. Unlike before, it's like, I'm not worth you. Like, my moleskin, I've had that since high school. I only started using it recently because it's only now I felt worthy to use an expensive art material. Which did hamper my progress, but I guess it's emotional maturity. So now we're getting into more of the slightly cheaper art materials. This is the Dong A, or Dong A, however you pronounce it. I'll say Dong A. Uh, this is a Dong A poster color paint set. I bought it for my typography class and whatever else I might need it for. Uh, yeah, it's nothing special. It's just poster color. One art material I do not have is the gouache set. I'm curious about it but I keep on like getting distracted by other stuff and like, other materials and Blah. I'll get it eventually. So I'm switch I'm swatching the Dong A again. Uh, these are the Hexa Plus colored pens and I just use them for everyday life. Occasionally in October I, they might make a comeback and I might buy a bigger set since I'm running out of colors. I also swatch the my, my the My Metal set, it's just glittery um, colors. I also swatch two Sharpies. Uh, these microns might be fake. I got them off of Lazada. And they're not waterproof, so I bought 
or I had rather beforehand another pen that I bought in an actual art supply store and that was waterproof so I think the body is real but the ink is fake so be careful. I also swatched some other pens like my Cortaja Cambio uh, brush pen, some art line fine liner, uni pen fine liner, yada yada yada. I also swatched here what band is this? It's like testable colored pencils. They're like really cute. I bought them for like traveling and random sketching. They're really really cute. Now I'm swatching what's this? Oh, these are the Faber Castell classic set. So this is the 48 set. And this is the ones that you would buy your kids when they're a bit older, I guess. But they're surprisingly actually pretty good. Uh you just need to choose what paper they could go with since layering it is a bit difficult. That's why I switched to the polychromos eventually because they just hurt my hand. Uh, these are free colored pencils I got with my ink pens, like the Derwent uh, artist, artist pencils, I believe. Yeah, and I didn't really use them since they're kind of difficult to work with in terms of... Um, they're, they're really hard. So now I'm swatching the... Chai Star pencils. Like, I found these lying around at home. I think they belong to my uncle who used to do a lot of art. And they, he just left it here when he went to, uh, to Dubai. So, might as well have them. So, I also swatched the Stadler pencils, which is like super hard. Again, just found them lying around. Surprisingly, the best buy colored pencils, like right now that we're swatching, is has pretty good pigment. They're not hard. They lay on pretty nicely. I haven't tried layering them since I only found them pretty recently again. And there's some miscellaneous stuff like the state layer Mars Lumachrome and the Faber-Castell Al Albrecht Durer. It just, I know that Albrecht Durer is like the higher end watercolor pencils but I'm not really into watercolor pencil or rather I don't know how to use them. It is the... Oh here! This is the Faber Castell watercolor pencil set that I've had since I was in elementary and I barely used them for a while because I didn't know how to deal with watercolor and the paper I used wasn't good. It's like normal printer paper. And then I used them up at one point when I was trying to do like this manga which I never really finished. So yeah, there's that. I might use them eventually since I found some really nice paper I just could it could go with. So the paper I'm using right now is from my um, Canson watercolor sketchbook. It's pretty smooth and it handles water fair enough. This is the Bien Fang water brush set and my parents mistook this to be the same as the Copic and I don't know, I used them once or twice and I never really got the hang of them, especially since they don't really activate well. Um, it, it seems that it heavily relies on the paper as well. Well, I'll revisit, revisit it sometime. So these are chalk pastels, and I'm using tissue because I really don't like the feeling of chalk, or like that, that grainy, staticky feel. I don't know if it's my ears or something, but I get like these weird shivers when, it's, when it clings to my hand and it rubs together. And these are my mental oil pastels, as you can see, are very beaten up. I've had this since high school, maybe even the end of elementary, and I used them for quite some time, and then decided not to use them anymore. I don't know why. I'll be using them again soon, especially since I found some techniques that involve gan, sol, and oil pastels. And these are just random oil pastels that I somehow accumulated over the years of being a student. This is the Sakura Clay Pass Junior Artist set. It's a pretty small set. Oh no, this one isn't the Grey Pass. This is the... What brand is this? I believe this is... Dong'a? Oil Pastels? Again, it's a very beaten up set and I've had them lying around here and there. So I'll be showing the swatches right now. Just for just for you to see... <laughs> my work, kidding. Uh, just for you to see the different materials. It also lets you have a better look at the colors and the names. You can pause it anytime if you want to see some if you can see them. I might even post scans of the of the swatches sometime if I'm if I remember. <laughs> yeah. So please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, DeviantArt. Like this video or even subscribe if you're into art videos. I often do fan art, 
anime drawings, traditional and digital. I like watercolor and stuff like that. And I'll see you around.